Oh, I see you have finally arrived, Herer. Took you long enough, don't you think? <laughs> of course I knew you were coming. I've been expecting you. Yesterday, actually. But your journey through my castle took you longer than I expected. I guess I overestimated you after all. Though, I have to admit that you are at least better than those useless companions of yours. If you had not ditched them and continued ahead alone, you would probably still be stuck between the first and second wall. Why you humans insist on carrying dead weight with you will forever remain a mystery to me. How do I know? Did you really think I would not be able to track you inside my own territory? Here, come and have a look. <laughs> oh, little lamb, don't be scared. If I had wanted to attack you, I would have done so the moment you entered the room. I really only want to show you something. A sneak attack. And why would I need to do something like that? Remember, sneak attacks are used against opponents who are stronger than yourself, and you are certainly not. Besides, there could be assassins hitting all over this room, behind those pillars, on the ceiling, inside one of the many alcoves along the walls. I can find at least a dozen places with a single glance. Not that there actually are demons waiting in ambush, but if you really were worried about that, you shouldn't even have entered the room. Now, come on. Aren't heroes supposed to be brave? This hesitation and fear is not a good look on you. Oh, you're not afraid, are you? Then prove it and come over here. Good little lamb. Now, look deep into this crystal ball in front of us and tell me what you see. <laughs> That's right, that is us standing in my throne room. What about now? Yes, those are your companions retreating from the castle to wait for your triumphant return. Which, of course, is never going to happen, but they don't know that. Oh, and a last one. I swear. Then we could continue with whatever you had planned. There, what do you see now? Exactly. It's your army's high command. So you see, this war continues only on my mercy, and my mercy alone. If I wanted to end it, I would only need to eliminate the people in this room, and your army would scatter. <laughs> oh no. I have not been spying on you from the beginning. Don't overestimate yourself, my little lamb. But the moment you defeated the first of my generals, you lost the only thing keeping you safe in my domain. My inattention. <laughs> oh, look at you jump. What's gotten into you so suddenly? Are you scared, realizing that all your plans were useless, or are you excited at the idea that you have been dancing in the palm of my hand from the beginning? That your every action was guided by me, as if you were my little plaything? Oh, that's not it? If you were going to lie to me, little lamb, at least try harder to hide that blush of yours. 
but fine, have it your way. It's not like I particularly care whether or not you are honest with your feelings. What was the purpose of this? Hmm, nothing really. I just wanted to wipe that arrogant smirk off your face by showing you how hopeless your situation truly is. But now we have gotten the fun out of the way. Let's get back to business, why don't we? Come on, follow me back to my throne. Oh, relax, little lamb. There is no need to grab that weapon of yours so tightly. I am not going to attack you suddenly. I know that you humans have a protocol for jewels, and I did not attend to follow it. Speaking of which, what did you think about my present? That weapon, of course. The legendary Demon Slayer you obtained after a long and grueling quest in order to defeat me. Following rumours you heard whispered from the lips of merchants and thieves. Rumours I sowed, of course. Yes, I am being serious. I planted that weapon in that ruin and led you to it. Oh, please. There is nothing weird going on with it. It is a bonafide, perfectly working, artifact great item for my personal treasury. Why did I let you have it? Oh, little lamb. Have you ever taken a close look at the one you had before? Even if you tried your hardest and put every ounce of your strength into attacking me with it, you would not have been able to hurt me. And where is the fun in that? I had to at least give you a fighting chance, didn't I? Um, yes. I thought it was quite obvious that all of this is like a game to me. Humans, demons, and any other being running around like ants on the battlefield to be used and manipulated at my pleasure. Like a game of chess. Only that chess is, you know, actually a challenge. Oh, shush. Have you humans never been taught proper manners? I didn't expect any words of thanks, but that is just rude. And did you really expect me to be anything but deceptive and evil? I didn't think so either. Just be grateful. Shut up and follow me. <laughs> that is better. As it should be. Me, sitting on my obsidian throne, and you to my feet, looking up at me. It's like in the stories you humans tell about the heroic fight against evil, isn't it? I am sure you have a lot to say to me, so let's talk. What do I mean? Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Your type loves to swing their righteous speeches around, don't they? Calling me evil incarnate, hellspawn, foul blood or other offensive terms in order to somehow justify their attack on my castle. I know that you also have one of them prepared. I saw you practice at nights, when you thought no one was watching. <laughs> oh, don't be embarrassed, little lamb. Weren't you excited to confront me about all my evil deeds? Now's your chance. Hmm, what is it? I have come to vanquish you and put an end to your reign of terror. <laughs> oh no, I am not laughing at you. 
I'm really not. It's just, what do you mean when you say that I'm taking all the fun out of it? It was supposed to be a surprise. By the flames, you are getting more interesting by the minute, little lamb. You are almost making me feel bad. Almost. Why don't you think of something new to say to me? I'll wait. Come on, you can do it, I believe in you. Strangely, yes, I actually do. So, give your best shot. Surprise me. That, I mean, I certainly have never heard of that one before. <laughs> Consider me surprised, little lamb. I knew I was right about you. You really do have that sudden spark the others were missing. Say, so, how about you join me? As a pet of sorts. You are certainly strong enough to be of interest to me. And surprisingly, I actually kind of like you. You are a funny person, and I am sure you could make me less bored. I mean, you are almost kind of an idiot, but in an endearing way. Not like all of those mindless servants that barely know how to hold a conversation by saying yes and no when I ask them for something. Oh, come on, why not? I don't think it's such a bad deal for you. Certainly better than fighting me and failing. How about this? I'll even spare the rest of humanity in exchange for you. That sounds like a good deal, right? One life for countless others. If you think about it, it's really not that different from what you were trying to do. Risking your life in order to slay me and save your people. The only difference is that there won't be a battle happening. For everyone else, the effect will remain the same. You sound like a broken record at this point. Yes, I am being serious. Have I ever lied to you before? Us demons do many things, but that is not one of them. It's a cultural thing, I guess. We value honesty much more than you humans do. Besides, lying is an instrument of the weak. It is honestly below me. Why did I not stop the war sooner? Well, because I had no reason to, of course, little lamb. Humans are of no interest to me, but I could gain a few advantages out of this war. So, let it continue after inheriting it from my predecessor. However, now that I have the chance to obtain something I am actually interested in, I have no reason to continue. So repeat my question, why not? Ah, uh, yes, yes, I could have guessed. Because us humans evil incarnate and scourge on the world. Because we, and in particular I, need to be brought to justice and atone for our sins of fighting against the righteous humans. Did I summarize everything correctly? More or less. That's good enough for me. I just have one little correction to make. You do realize that this is war, right? Everything you accused me of works in both directions. Just as my soldiers kill yours, yours kill mine. Just as I take your land, you take mine. So spare me the righteous attitude. I mean, yes, we demons certainly started the war. But those are just details. 
fact is that neither sign particularly covered itself in glory here. I mean, just look at what you are doing right now. If this was a war between human countries, sneaking behind enemy lines and attempting to take their leader's head would not be seen as a heroic mission, but as a cowardly assassination. It's different. And exactly how is that? Because we are not human. We do not deserve the same right. <sighs> Listen. I'm not saying that we are the good guys, not by a long shot. All I'm saying is that this war is not black and white, only two shades of grey. And the truth is that even you, the shining hero of humanity, is not so sure of what is just anymore, right? Oh, come on, you know what I'm talking about, little lamb. Tell me, is it because spending time with me made you appreciate my point? Or me? <laughs> oh, I can tell from your gaze. Sure, there is fear and loafing inside, but also admiration. The longing for something or someone you know to be far outside your league. Tell me, little lamb, is this the first time you were in the presence of someone as powerful as I? If yes, it would be understandable why your mind would be overwhelmed by the pressure of my unfathomable strength. Oh yes, I am so much stronger than you. I believe I made that clear. Compared to me, even you are nothing more than an ant. <laughs> you don't believe me, even after all I've shown and told you. But fine, I guess some people would need a demonstration in order to be convinced, right? <laughs> Don't be so tense, my little lamb. There is no need for you. There is no need to clutch your sword so anxiously. We are not going to fight, or at least not in the way you are imagining. Here, I'll let you have one free hit on me. A trap? Don't worry about that. I swear upon my true name, the domain of dominance that I rule, and the extinguishable flames of hell, that I am not going to try to deceive you. I will not evade, I will not counter, and I will not block your weapon. Is that good enough for you? You should know that an oath taken by a demon is absolutely binding, Ryan. Then why are you still hesitating? Strike me down. That is what you came here to do, is it not? See, if the heavens ever granted you an opportunity to eliminate humanity's greatest enemy, this is it. So, let me taste all of that righteous power you are so proud of. Though, sorry for stopping you after you just raised your weapon. But you might want to hear this. I swore that this opportunity is not a trap. But I said nothing about what happened afterwards. Yes, yes. We have been able to converse in a civil manner until now. But if you attacked me, I may not take kindly to that offence. So, little lamb, if you are to take this strike, you better be very sure that you can actually defeat me. Go on, 
look deep into your soul and mine. Deep down. You know the truth, don't you? That no matter what you do, you cannot defeat me. Strike me and become my enemy. Or throw away your weapon and be mine. Make a decision and do it quickly. But make sure it is the right one. <laughs> Good pet. Looks like there is a shred of common sense left in you after all. We two are going to have so much fun.